When the car of the future comes along, you can bet this will be one of the favorite options, a valet park feature that allows the car to drive itself through a lot, find a space, and park. Your car returns when summoned. Shopping at the mall will never be the same. It'll come when the autonomous car is ready to go on the road. I don't want to but, wait for that. <laughs> but I also, you know, I, I'm quite fond of that feature as well. Carla Bello is a senior vice president of research and development for Nissan Americas. This is the era that we're headed into. Um, it's completely revolutionary. It's going to change the way we, we manufacture and develop vehicles, no doubt. This past week, Nissan's autonomous car was on display at the Detroit Auto Show. But virtually every automaker is chasing the idea of a self-driving car. Mercedes is testing one on the streets of Germany. This year, Volvo will have its self-drive car on Swedish roads. Google is among companies with one in the U.S. They're all racing to have a fully autonomous car for sale by the end of the decade, an automobile revolution with one overriding goal. Safety. If, if your ultimate goal is zero fatalities, you have to have the cars uh, being able to manage themselves and get zero rid of the human fatalities. element. Zero fatalities. The final goal of autonomous should be zero. That requires sensors on the car, Stereo cameras that look forward and behind, radar and sonar and infrared to sense objects all around, and the software to react. You actually studied fish? Yes, we did. Why? Primarily with their movements and the way they're able to get huge amounts or huge quantities through small areas, and again with their sensory perception to go the right way and not hit one another. We needed to duplicate those same kind of systems, which is you know, what our lasers and radars are doing for us. Like gauging movements of other cars when merging into traffic, or spotting an absent-minded pedestrian at a crosswalk. In fact, the revolution is already an evolution, with some self-drive technology now in use, like the car that parallel parks itself or sees a child behind the car and hits the brakes faster than a human may react. Once we get onto the highway, I'll activate uh, Distronic Plus uh, with steering assist. Charles Kawashima, a senior engineer with Mercedes-Benz, took us for a spin in the new S-Class Mercedes with technology now available in 2014 models. It was Mercedes that first popularized technology now standard in cars, like airbags and anti-lock brakes. And the green steering wheel here in the instrument cluster also lets me know that it can detect the lane. When this car's sensors identify a drift across a lane, the steering wheel warns the driver with a slight tug back toward the center. And the car can spot trouble well before a distracted driver. Say goodbye to rear end collisions. Now we're slowing down, but we're the car's down. doing that. The car's doing that. I didn't, I didn't touch the, the brake pedal at all. This car can react a lot faster than you will in an emergency. That's right. Scanning the distance between the vehicle uh, in front of me and, and my own vehicle, uh, the vehicle does that very efficiently. The motorist of 1960 finds this intersection safe. It's been a long time coming. This General Motors display of the 1939 World's Fair drew lines two miles long to see self-driving cars. Safe distance between cars is maintained by automatic radio control. By 1956, the dream was updated. We're all set for auto control. You're now under automatic control. Hands off steering. And the dreamers of that year saw it happening by, oh, 1976. Ah, this is the life. Safe, cool, comfortable. And when you feel comfortable, you can engage the lane following. I'm a little nervous about that. Okay. <laughs> I must confess. At General Motors Milford, Michigan Proving Ground, Jeremy Salinger let us take GM's real autonomous car for a spin. So I'm driving along. I've taken my hands off the steering wheel mm -hmm. 
what is the car seeing and sensing that lets it do this? So the car has a camera that is looking at the lane markers. It sees that there's a solid lane marker on the left, dash lane markers on the right. It knows that it's supposed to stay in the, in the lane, so it's going to follow those. But it isn't foolproof. The high-tech system, just like a driver, can be blinded by something as common as the sun reflecting off a rain-slick highway, obscuring the lane markers. When that happens, the seat vibrates, warning the driver to take back control. And let's put Salinger in the skeptics column. There's a lot more technology needed and years of testing before a self-driving car hits a showroom near you. So a car that can operate on the freeways, um, in reasonable weather, uh, when there's not covered with snow, mm -hmm. um, is one that can be done uh, by 2020. So, but that still requires that it's going to be uh, not fully autonomous because it will still need the driver to pay attention and intervene in some situations. So I'm not fired yet. Not yet. The word drive is a word without a future. This is as much a change to transportation as the original automobile was when we had horses. Jim Hall, once an independent auto consultant who recently went to work for GM, says no matter how long it takes, the self-driving car is coming. They will happen. It's an inevitable thing because a self-driving car is a cultural imperative. With urbanization the way it's happening and super urbanization that you're getting in Asia, with that, when that happens comes a point at which you can't make the existing system work efficiently. The day could come where we're not allowed to drive a car. Absolutely. And other things may go away, like speeding tickets. Don't when like cars that. drive themselves, they will be programmed to obey laws humans may not. Also on the endangered list, hurt in a car wreck, lawyers who make a living when cars crash because self-drive cars won't. It'll probably be effectively nobody practicing it. And while we're rethinking driving, how about rethinking the car itself? When cars drive themselves, who needs a steering wheel or even a window to look at the road ahead? You can end up with autonomous cars that are radically different than what we could expect. They could be these spectacular sculptures on wheels that have no windows, as we say, but they're beautiful forms. The safe, easy way to make a turn. That long dreamed of automobile future is finally just a few more miles down the road.